Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. How are we doing today, folks? I am doing great. Thank you for asking, right? Why am I doing so great? Because I got you guys a big money maker today. Check this sucker out. 1434 West 112th, Cleveland, Ohio, folks. Now, this one listed at 350. 350, right? 349.9 to be specific. What's $100 amongst friends, right? Now, this one, guys, you guys are going to be very excited over this one, okay? This one is got a lot of stuff going for it, right? So if you're trying to be a cash flow investor, if you already are a cash flow investor and you're trying to build your business larger, this thing is going to check a ton of boxes that are important to the overall strategy of a real estate investor, right? The first thing we should speak of is one of the most important things when you're investing in real estate. Location, 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 folks. Location, location, location. This bad boy is in a premium location, a premium spot. I anticipate you guys getting to ride that gentrification wave, right? This is right over there by Edgewater, okay? So what we have here is going to be a step up from like your normal C-grade properties, right? Because when you hear of the resurgence of Cleveland and when you see uh, properties being or areas rather being gentrified with new properties, new construction, right? There's like a few set neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. Uh, that are seeing like the biggest amounts of development and gentrification and, and upswing, really, right? And those are going to be Detroit Shoreway, Tremont, Ohio City, and Edgewater, right? Where it is, bad boy is, right? So location, location, location. I think you are in uh, one of the more premier type investment locations, folks. So if you're trying to invest for cash flow today and hope to have your cake and eat it too down the line with some type of appreciation, this is a good bet, right? Obviously, nobody has a crystal ball, but if I'm going to bet on a particular neighborhood uh, in this entire market, this is one of the four I'd want to bet on uh, because history has shown uh, that these are the markets that the institutional funds are coming in. In addition, dude, you're right there on freaking Lake Erie, baby. So location, right? We talked about that. We chatted that up. Let's move on to the next reason I totally dig this particular property, folks. And uh, if you have watched my shows, uh, my various shows here on Holton Wise TV, uh, over any course of time, uh, you should know what my favorite type of investment property is for investors, right? You should know what it is. It is the four-unit apartment building, folks. It is not the single-family home. It is not the duplex. It is not the triplex. And guess what? It's not the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the 10, the 11, and the 12-unit apartment building. No. One stands above all of those, and that is the four-unit apartment building. The reason being the number one reason you should be buying real estate for investment purposes, folks, it is the ability to quadruple your money, okay? Other businesses make money. Real estate investing is not the only business that you can make money. But I can't think of any other business that allows you to quadruple your money right off the rip. You see, with financing, instead of taking a hundred grand and buying a hundred thousand dollar house, you take a hundred grand and you can buy a four hundred thousand dollar house on a thirty year fixed interest loan. Now I know everybody right now they're all like the interest rates are going up. Where, where, where cry, cry, cry. People. You greedy bastards. What are you crying about? The interest rates, okay, so they're like five, six percent, folks. 3% interest rates, that wasn't going to last forever. Come on, guys, be a student of the game. We haven't had interest rates that low in the entire history of the markets, okay? That was like literally like a, like a small period of time that was unsustainable, okay? 5 6% interest, that is still ridiculously low. Try to get a loan. Uh, for 30 years that's tax deductible uh, at that low rate. You can't do it, right? So... If you're looking at real estate as one um, tool in your toolbox, in your tool belt, so to speak, 
uh, you should see that the financing of real estate is by far and away better than anything else, right? And the thing is, though, right, with the, the real estate financing, the loan I'm speaking of, the type of loan, the 30 years, the 25% down, the fixed interest, the low interest, you cannot get that on buildings bigger than four-unit buildings, okay? They don't have those kind of loans for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12-unit apartment buildings, folks. So if you're putting two and two together, the reason I love the four-unit building is because it is the biggest building. It is the most rental income you can get while utilizing the very best financing available on the market, right? So we got a banging location. We got the best financing possible. And as far as the units itself, right, you've been viewing. For your viewing pleasure, we've been showing you the interior of the units. This property, it's 100% vacant. Uh, seller reached out to Holton Wise. They're like, hey, you guys, we like what you're doing. We got this apartment building. We don't have tenants. We're moving on from this business. Will you guys sell it to your investors on your show? And we were like, you damn straight we will. So 350, okay, 350. And then as far as the units go, to me, they're all in pretty darn good shape. Uh, so I'm thinking like maybe, maybe 20, 25 Gs in totality to get this thing from vacant four unit building to fully occupied rocking and rolling apartment building. One more thing, though. These folks, they have not done the Cleveland lead certification. Uh, so it's a larger building. You may also, if I were you, uh, consider maybe... Uh, you got like 2025 20, to get it totally rent ready on the inside, clean them units up, so to speak. And then maybe you should budget another 2025 to uh, vinyl side the building. I think vinyl siding the building would be very smart. I'm not saying you have to vinyl side it. You do not need to spend that money today. Uh, you can get it lead certified uh, for cheaper than actually vinyl siding it. But I think uh, over the long Hall, it makes sense because you have to get your property re-led certified in the city of Cleveland every two years. And if you're newer to the show, uh, newer to the Cleveland market, you might be like, what the heck is lead certified? I never heard of these laws, dog. What's going on? That's because they are brand spanking new. If you're on Zillow, Realtor.com, this or that, most realtors ain't talking about it because most realtors don't know about it. But don't worry, folks. You are at Holton Wise TV right now. You're watching the number one show in the game on the Cleveland market. So we are here to educate you before we can sell you a property. We need to help you become a more educated investor, and that includes knowing the rules and the regulations that are going to affect your bottom line as an investor. So when you're done watching me talk to you about this property in this video, I want you to click the notes below and watch my video on the lead certification process in Cleveland. Whether you buy from me or not, whether you do business with Holton Wise or not, if you're going to do business in this market, you need to watch that video. You need to understand what those laws are like. So all in. Should be all in under 400K, and what you're going to end up with, with is $3,600 a month in rent. Big, beautiful quad in an area that I think is ripe for appreciation. So if all that makes sense to you and you're interested in this particular property, shoot my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. If you want to finance, which, again, I think you absolutely should, uh, include in your email the amount you want to offer plus your pre-approval lender a uh, letter from your lender if you need a lender. I got them for you, too. Just shoot us an email. Be like, yo, dog, holler at me with your uh, lenders, bro. Let me, let me get up in the game. I'll get it to you. No problem. If you want to pay cash, you don't have to pay cash. But if you do want to pay cash, you could absolutely do that. Same deal. Shoot an email with the offer you want to make to my team. Include a proof of funds. That's your bank statement. You could black out, like, your account number and this or that. But that's your bank statement. All right, cash offer is not a hard money offer. It is not uh, some type of like statement saying you got 500 grand, but it doesn't have your freaking name on it. It is not a credit card cash advance. It's not a private money loan. Okay, it's actually cash in your pocket. All right, I've been around the game a long time, folks. So consider that a nice little pro tip for you. For whatever reason, you get a lot of noobs out there that think hard money, uh, a hard money loan is a cash offer. It is not. The third word in hard money loan is loan. Therefore, it is not a cash offer, folks. So that was a nice little free pro tip from your boy, Jay Wise. Let us know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.